Next you'll need to install the Checkmate source code itself. On the Timing Attestation Google Code page under the Downloads tab, you can find checkmate.zip. Click on that and then click on the checkmate.zip file on the next page. Save it to your desktop. And then open the file when you're done downloading it. Extract the file to C colon slash. And that will create a folder called C colon slash checkmate. Inside this folder you'll see server trunk which is the code which handles the requesting of measurements, timing tester v6 which is the client that's installed on endpoints and performs the actual measurement, Teresius which reconstructs what it thinks measurements should look like, and Teresius script which just renames files for Teresius to ingest and you shouldn't have to deal with this at all. There's a binary of that inside the Teresius trunk, but we just included it for completeness. So once you've uh, installed, once you've downloaded and installed this, click into the server trunk cut release, and click into server. And there will be a, full, a file called example-config.txt. Copy that with Control C, and then paste it with Control V to make a copy and then rename that copy to server underscore config dot txt. This is done by us usually so that we don't overwrite each other's configurations when we're using SVN. So go back up to the SQL and Checkmate folder and go into the Teresius trunk cut release and then into Teresius and again there will be an example config.txt hit control C and control V to make a copy and then when you've done that rename the copy to Teresius underscore config.txt the next thing you have to do is get the uh, prerequisite files for uh, self-checking because the self-check incorporates measurements from parts of the kernel and the NDIS network driver uh, you need to open a new window, go to tools, and map network drive, and then I'm going to map the drive of the client system which I'm eventually going to install the client into. And so this is 192.168.187.161. So 192.168.187.161 slash C dollar sign. This is the mounting the C colon slash directory and then we're going to specify an administrative user and then finish and I actually already have this mounted but that's fine so inside this newly mounted network drive go to the Windows directory and then the system32 directory Back in Teresius, go up one directory and find the folder Dropbox. This is where you put binaries that you want uh, Teresius script to rename for Teresius to import. So from the remote system, we need the following files. hal.dll, kdcom.dll, bootvid.dll ntkernelpa.exe nt and so this is the PAE or physical address extensions version of the kernel your client should be running the PAE version uh, the system is only currently tested with PAE version because whenever you enable DEP you also enable PAE so this is what we expect to be the common case but just for completeness uh, we also copy over NTOS kernel.exe which is the non-PAE version and then you know, need to go into the drivers folder still within system32 and find ndis ndis .sys, and copy that over as well then make a new command window and go to c colon checkmate teresius trunk cut release 
slash Teresius and then execute Teresius script Teresius underscore script dot exe this will take each of these files and rename them using version information we consider the version information to be the time date stamp out of the PE uh, file header that's this field right here and then the size of image out of the PE optional header which is the second number so you'll see all of these files got moved out of Dropbox and into the storage directory. We're going to leave Teresia script running because when we later on build the client driver, we're going to drop it into the Dropbox to get it renamed.